Welcome to Golf Joy Tutorials. Another function in the training mode of this system is the chip and putt. Previously it was just chipping, so once you hit onto the green it gives you the distance to the hole. Now with chip and putt the, the goal is to get the ball in the hole, so you continue until you get the ball in the hole. So I'll click on chip and putt. Again, I'm going to go and choose Pebble Beach. Uh, I might choose a different hole. But before I click start and go into this hole, I've got to set up the green. So I'll go into settings and then here on the right, it's going to give me a few different options. So the first one would be the wind setting. And this goes from anywhere of no breeze to real gusts. If I'm playing Pebble Beach, if I want to make it realistic, I might put it on like a slightly windy or strong breeze. And then it, you can have green speed. The obviously higher the number, the quicker the green speed. And then the other one, concede, is which this puts a circle around the hole. It goes from anywhere from no conceding hole to about three yards, so like five or six different options. I suggest for amateurs, you put it on a green speed of nine with a concede circle of about one. If we go here, it's going to give you ball data and it's going to give you the AI caddy as well. So right, I have selected my settings and I'm going to go into confirm so I can start to practice. gone into the gameplay now and just as a couple of features you need to recognize. So I've chosen a 14 yard shot and what we can look here is on the map it's going to show you the topography of the green. What that means is basically you can see where the elevation of the green is. Red is the highest point on the green and blue is the lowest point. They've put me at a place where it's high on the right and sloping down towards the left. So now I can use course strategy to chip the ball to a place where I want my next putt to be. For me, I would probably chip a little bit left of the hole, which would leave me an uphill putt. I find this a bit easier to get in the hole. And I know by looking at this map, if I chip to the right, it's gonna leave me a downhill putt, therefore maybe a little bit more difficult. You can click on the grid icon. That's just gonna make it slightly clearer to show where the slope is. Obviously red is high, blue is the lowest and you'll find that these lines, they're running down the hill like this, so it's gonna build up a very clear image, just like you would outside, to where you should be chipping the ball and where you shouldn't be chipping the ball. Just chip the ball, now I've got a putt. My chip was a little bit short, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look on the screen to show me where to putt the ball. So it says here, I've got a distance of just under five yards, and it's showing me that the right is higher than the left, so it's a right to left putt. What I can do, I can either manually input my target line, or if I want, I just press this I button and the computer will do it automatically. So if I click there, it's already given me my preferred target line, and now what I can do before I hit the ball, as always, do your practice swings, and I can try and feel the distance that I need to hit the ball to hopefully make it in the hole. I can use this map on the right to actually practice my putting and practice different lines and speeds that you'd find outside on the proper greens. So again what I can do, looking at the red down to the blue, I can place the ball on a line where I know I want to practice right to left putt. So going here, now what I'm seeing, high, high ground on the right, low ground on the left, I can practice as many times as I want this putting line. Then if I go to the other side of the hole it should give me the exact opposite line of a left to right putt. So using this system, it's going to give me a lot of chance to practice my ball speed control and my green reading. A game you can play to put your chipping and putting under a little bit of pressure is a game called par 6. So this means every hole you have to do one chip, one putt in order to get a par of two. So par 6 is obviously playing three holes. So what I would do, I've got a 12 yard chip, I would try to chip and one putt. Then, for me, I would probably completely change the distance. Maybe I'd put it to 20 yards, something like that. And then the third hole, again, I would use another distance, therefore making my practice much more realistic and much more like what you'd find on the golf course. So give this a go, and it will certainly help your game performance.